Hey gang, welcome to another edition of Doc Schlock, where it's a review of the movie Pizza Girl Massacre. She delivers. And this mo Oh, wait, hold on a second. Sorry, guys. Um, apparently, I... I don't know how this happened, but... Well, there's a sponsor for this review, and uh, they asked me to play for them a commercial jingle, so... Yeah... So before we get this review going, let's go ahead and get the jingle out of the way. You love how new we're looking. You love how hot we're cooking. Yeah. You love the stuff we're made of. You oh. love Lord. how fresh we make it. You love how fast we take it. stuff I heard that that that's made of is well well thank God that the Texas Chainsaw Massacre family's not making pizza because I don't think I'd like the stuff they that uh, they were making out of anyway uh, the movie is about a theater troupe who decides to go to a cabin and they want to try and do their version of William Shakespeare's A Midsummer Night's Dream and you have uh, a lot of the same actors, and of course, this is a found footage horror movie, so yeah. Uh, the movie starts off with uh, with a blonde woman crawling across a floor, trying to reach for what looks like to be a pizza cutter, and somebody in a uh, donkey head mask. Shrek! Not that kind of donkey. Um, and unfortunately, he's not making waffles. <laughs> Uh, grabs her, pulls her away while, while it's being shot on some sort of a head cam or something like that. Uh, and then the movie goes back to some time before uh, where the theater troops getting together. They decide they want to go to a cabin somewhere out in the woods. Yeah, like that always works out really well uh, to do their version of, like I said, A Midsummer Night's Dream. And they're getting killed off by... Of course, the pizza girl. Why? Because she shows up because they decide that they want to have pizza instead of Chinese food. Uh, she shows up in the hallway uh, holding up pizza boxes. Uh, one of them decides, you know, it's like, ah, I'm you know, not going to tip her. And she goes on a killing spree, in which is probably some of the, a lot of the, some of it you pretty much see a lot of is off camera, which is kind of unfortunate. And uh, until it's down to our final girl, Katie. Who you see in the beginning of the movie being dragged away by a guy in a donkey mask. And, uh, yeah, it turns out that the owner of the cabin is actually the mother of the pizza girl, and there's this, uh, her brother. They're all part of trying to kill them all off and everything like that because, uh, uh, the pizza girl, who does not speak a word in the movie, supposedly wants to be a part of the play, wants to be on camera the whole nine yards, and the movie, uh, movie ends with a shot of the pizza girl whose name I forget, but they pretty much called her the pizza girl in the movie. Uh, yeah, just, just staring off into, I guess, the camera. So there you guys have it. So why did this movie suck? I'm not a big fan of found footage horror movies, but the movie just kind of went in between a lot of times. It, it, it would show uh, that, you know, there were a lot of people in this, a lot of characters in the movie that were very unlikable. But again, uh, the whole shots between, you know, is like bloody carnage footage and then just normal stuff uh there was kind of a blurred line between that and that got kind of annoying uh again a lot of the kills were done off camera you didn't see a whole lot of it but it, but it lived up to the gore at least and some of the kills were a little bit ridiculous and uh there were times that the pizza girl would show up at different places and you kind of think to yourself how did that happen that doesn't make any sense so yeah the whole movie in itself was very ridiculous and pretty pretty bad the acting was okay, but again, a lot of the characters in this movie were very annoying, and uh, yeah, some of them you wanted to see get killed off, and others they were just like, you know, you, you just see them for like maybe eight, ten minutes, and then suddenly like, oh, uh, he died. That 
Who's he? So, yeah, it's kind of one of those kind of horror movies. But there you guys have it. A review of Pizza Girl Massacre. And uh, if you like my videos, feel free to subscribe. If you have a horror, sci-fi horror, comedy horror, or fantasy horror movie that somewhat dealt with food in some weird, strange, twisted kind of way, send it my way and I will get on it ASAP. Thank you guys so very, very much for watching. And until next time... As always, stay strong and rock on. And always make sure to teep, to teep, <laughs> to tip whoever delivers food to your house because otherwise they could wind up in a really crappy found footage horror movie too.